بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم فرینڈز ان ٹوڈیز ویڈیو ایم گو نو شو یو ہاؤ ٹو کروشے دیس بیبی ڈریس اٹس اے ویری بیوٹیفل اینڈ ایزی ٹو میک ڈریس اٹس پیراٹران ایز بگنر فرینڈلی سو یو کین ایزی لیو ٹرائی دیم اٹس اے سکیئر یوگ پیٹرن وڈ ڈبل کروشے سٹیج اینڈ یو کین سی ڈبل کروشے اینڈ پر سٹیج in the flare and you can also see a very beautiful double crochet shell stitch pattern in the border so it's very beautiful so if you want to try this crochet dress this watch the full tutorial till the end so friends for this pattern I'm using a three ply cotton yarn it's a thin yarn if you are using a thick yarn you can take less number of chains for your project according to your size and I am also using a 4 millimeter steel crochet hook according to my yarn thickness so first of all wrap the yarn around your fingers like this and make a slip knot for one year size I am going to make 100 base chain for my project but you can take less chains according to the multiple of 4 for smaller size and you can also take more chains according to the multiple of 4 for bigger size so complete your base chain according to the multiple of 4 for your desired size so after completing your base chain I have made 100 base chain so for the first row start with chain 2 chain 2 is not counted as our stitch for the first stitch wrap the yarn go into the third chain from the hook and pull the yarn pull through first two loops and then pull through second two loops to make your first double crochet stitch now go into the second chain and repeat the same pattern and make double crochet two go into the third and make double crochet three and complete 12 double crochet stitches after completing 12 double crochet stitches go into the next chain and make double crochet 1 go into the same chain again and make double crochet 2 after making 2 double crochet stitches make chain 1 go into the same chain again and make 2 more double crochet stitches 1 and 2 so this is our corner first corner for our scare yoke now go into the next chain and make 1 double crochet go into the next and make double crochet 2 go into the next and make double crochet 3 and complete total of 24 double crochet stitches after completing 24 double crochet stitches we are going to make our second corner for the second corner repeat the same pattern of 2 double crochet chain 1 and 2 double crochet into the same chain so this is our second corner
now go into the next chain and make double crochet one go into the second and make double crochet two go into the next and make double crochet three and repeat the same pattern and complete 24 double crochet stitches as we have done for this side complete 24 double crochet stitches for this side so after completing 24 double crochet stitches now we are going to make our corner again our third corner so go into the next chain and make double crochet one into the same chain double crochet two chain one and again into the same chain double crochet one and double crochet two so this is our third corner so now go into the next chain and make one double crochet go into the next and make double crochet two go into the next and make double crochet three and complete total of 24 double crochet stitches again after completing 24 double crochet stitches now we are going to make our last corner so go into the next chain and make two double crochet chain one and two double crochet into the same chain space after making last corner now go into the next chain and make one double crochet go into the next and make double crochet two go into the next and make double crochet three and complete total of 12 double crochet stitches so after completing 12 double crochet stitches 12 for this side and 12 for this side total of 24 double crochet stitches here 24 double crochet stitches here 24 here and 24 here so this is the first row for our yoke now make chain 2 again chain 2 is not counted as our stitch so we are going to make our first double crochet stitch into this very first double crochet stitch here so make your first double crochet stitch here now go into the second stitch and make double crochet 2 into the third double crochet 3 and make one double crochet till the first corner so after completing this side go into this chain money space and here we are going to make our corner again by making two double crochet chain one and two double crochet into the same chain one space so after completing first corner now make one double crochet stitch into every stitch as we have done before so make one double crochet stitch into every stitch till the second corner So after completing this side go into this chain 1 space again and make double crochet 1 double crochet 2 chain 1 and double crochet 1 
and double crochet too so this is very simple and easy pattern now go into the next stitch and make double crochet one into the next sorry into the next double crochet two into the next double crochet three and complete one double crochet stitch into every stitch till the next corner and then repeat the same corner pattern and complete three rows after completing three rows make a slip stitch and make chain 3 chain 3 is counted as our double crochet stitch so go into the next stitch and make double crochet 2 after chain 3 go into the next and make double crochet 3 go into the next and make double crochet 4 go into the next and make double crochet 5 now make one double crochet stitch into every stitch and repeat the corner pattern and then make a slip stitch to the top of chain 3 and then repeat this row of simple double crochet again and again till we reach the desired size of our yoke after completing 9 rows I have reached 10 inches size for my yoke which is perfect for one year baby so now we are going to make our flare so to start our flare make chain 3 chain 3 is counted as our first double crochet stitch now go into the same stitch again and make double crochet 2 now go into the second double crochet stitch and make double crochet 1 and double crochet 2 into the same now go into the third stitch and repeat the same pattern of two double crochet stitches now into the next again two double crochet stitches so this is the pattern so make two double crochet stitches into every stitch till the first corner So after completing this side wrap the yarn go into this first chain 1 space of first corner and second chain 1 space of second corner and make a double crochet stitch by joining these both side you can see Now simply make two double crochet stitches into every stitch as we have done before. So make two double crochet stitches, sorry, two double crochet, 
now go into the third and make two double crochet stitches again into the fourth repeat the same pattern and repeat this pattern till the next corner so after completing this two double crochet into every stitch now again wrap the yarn go into the first chain space and then go into the second chain space and pull the yarn and then make a double crochet stitch so after joining these two sides now go into this first stitch and make two double crochet into the next two double crochet into the next two double crochet now repeat this pattern till the end of the row so after completing the first row for our flare now we are going to start our pattern so for the second row make chain 3 which is counted as our first double crochet stitch and go into the second double crochet stitch and make double crochet 2 into the next double crochet 3 into the next double crochet 4 into the next double crochet 5 into the next double crochet 6 into the next double crochet 7 into the next double crochet 8 and after completing 8 double crochet stitches wrap the yarn go into this double crochet stitch from down side up to make a post stitch and pull the yarn pull through first two loops and then pull through second two loops this is our front post double crochet stitch now repeat the same pattern and go through the next double crochet stitch from upside down and then downside up and make a front post double crochet stitch after making two front post double crochet stitch into the next double crochet one into the next double crochet two into the next double crochet three into the next double crochet four into the next double crochet five into the next double crochet six into the next double crochet seven into the next double crochet eight and after completing eight double crochet stitches again make two front post double crochet stitches so wrap the yarn go into the next stitch go through the stitch and make a front post double crochet stitch don't go into the loops go through the stitch like this and make a front post double crochet stitch and then repeat the same pattern and make second front post double crochet stitch and make eight double crochet stitches again and then again make two front post double crochet stitches I hope you can understand the pattern so this is the pattern
repeat this pattern till the end of the row so after completing this pattern make a slip stitch to the top of chain 3 and then make chain 3 which is our first double crochet stitch into the next double crochet 2 into the next double crochet 3 into the next double crochet 4 into the next double crochet 5 into the next double crochet 6 into the next double crochet 7 and into the next double crochet 8 after completing 8 double crochet stitches now wrap the yarn go into this front post double crochet stitch go through the stitch like this and make a front post double crochet stitch again again repeat the same pattern go through the next front post double crochet stitch and make a front post double crochet stitch again now make one double crochet stitch into every stitch and complete eight double crochet stitches after completing eight double crochet stitches make a front post double crochet stitch into the next front post and then make a second front post double crochet stitch into the next one so this is the pattern repeat the same pattern till the end of the row and complete your entire section till the next increase so friends after completing total 8 rows now we are going to make increase so make chain 3 which is counted as our first double crochet stitch into the next double crochet 2 into the next double crochet 3 into the next double crochet 4 and into the next double crochet 5 and double crochet 6 into the same stitch 2 double crochet into this fifth stitch now go into the next and make double crochet 7 into the next double crochet 8 into the next double crochet 9 so now we are having 9 double crochet stitches now go into the next front post double crochet stitch and make front post double crochet stitch into the second front post double crochet stitch again after making two front post double crochet stitches go into the next section and make double crochet one double crochet two double crochet three double crochet four into the next double crochet 5 and double crochet 6 double crochet 7 double crochet 8 and double crochet 9 so make an increase stitch here and complete 9 double crochet stitches now wrap the yarn go into the next front post double crochet stitch go through the stitch and make a front post double crochet repeat the same pattern one more time now repeat this row till the end after completing this row now we are going to work for next 8 rows including this 9 double crochet increased row 
so this is our second row we chain 3 which is our first double crochet double crochet 2 double crochet 3 double crochet 4 double crochet 5 double crochet 6 double crochet 7 double crochet 8 and double crochet 9 complete 9 double crochet stitches 1 stitch in each and then make 2 front post double crochet stitch now repeat this till the end of the row this is our second row complete total 8 rows by repeating the same pattern so friends after completing 8 rows now we are going to change our pattern so make chain 3 which is our first double crochet then double crochet 2 double crochet 3 into the next double crochet 4 after making 4 double crochet stitches wrap the yarn go into the next stitch pull the yarn and pull through 2 loops only again wrap the yarn go into the next pull the yarn pull through 2 loops only and then pull through all 3 loops to make a double crochet together stitch and then make 1 double crochet into each stitch we are decreasing 1 stitch here so this is total of 8 double crochet stitches here now go into this front post double crochet stitch and make a front post double crochet into the next make second front post double crochet stitch sorry make one double crochet stitch here and then a second double crochet stitch here between these two front post double crochet stitches and then make a front post double crochet stitch into the second front post double crochet stitch now again go into the next and make double crochet one double crochet 2 double crochet 3 and then double crochet 4 after making 4 double crochet stitches again decrease make an unfinished double crochet into the next 2 stitches and finish them by pulling the yarn through all 3 loops this is our double crochet 5 and then double crochet 6 double crochet 7 and double crochet 8 total of 8 double crochet stitches by decreasing 1 double crochet stitch now make front post double crochet stitch and between the space of these two front post double crochet stitches make 2 double crochet stitches and then make a front post double crochet stitch again Now repeat this pattern till the end. <coughs> After completing this pattern, make chain 3, which is our first double crochet. Now double crochet 2, double crochet 3. Now wrap the yarn, go into the next, pull the yarn and pull through two loops only, and then go into the next. And pull the yarn through two loops only then pull through all three loops this is our double crochet 4 which is double crochet together stitch then double crochet 5 double crochet 6 and double crochet 7 we are going to decrease into every next row so now we are having seven double crochet stitches and then make 
front post double crochet stitch now go into this first double crochet stitch and make two double crochet stitches here after making two double crochet stitches make chain one go into the second double crochet stitch and make two double crochet stitches again so this is our two double crochet chain one and two double crochet shell stitch pattern after completing this go into the next front post double crochet stitch and make a front post double crochet stitch again now go into the next and make double crochet one double crochet two double crochet three and then double crochet four which is our two double crochet together stitch this is our double crochet four and then double crochet five double crochet six double crochet seven so after completing seven double crochet stitches go into the next and make a front post double crochet stitch here into the next double crochet stitch make two double crochet stitches and then make chain one into the next double crochet stitch again make two double crochet stitches so this is our shell stitch now wrap the yarn go into the next front post double crochet stitch and make a front post double crochet now repeat this same pattern till the end of the row after completing this row now start your next row make chain 3 which is our first double crochet stitch into the next double crochet 2 into the next double crochet 3 and into the next make unfinished double crochet stitch go into the next and again make unfinished double crochet stitch and finish it this is our together stitch and our double crochet 4 into the next double crochet 5 and into the next double crochet 6 one together stitch total of 6 double crochet stitches into the next make a front post double crochet stitch now go into this shell stitch chain one space and make two double crochet chain two and two double crochet Go into the next front post double crochet stitch and make a front post double crochet stitch so this is the pattern now go into the next and make double crochet one double crochet two double crochet three and then a together stitch which is our double crochet four double crochet 5 and double crochet 6 after completing 6 double crochet stitches make a front post double crochet stitch into the next and then go into this chain 1 space again of our shell stitch and make a shell stitch by making 2 double crochet chain 2 and two double crochet into the same chain one space now into the next make a front post double crochet stitch again now repeat this same pattern till the end of the row after completing this row now make chain 3 which is counted as our first double crochet stitch into the next double crochet 2 into the next 
make unfinished double crochet into the next make unfinished double crochet and then finish it this is our double crochet 3 into the next double crochet 4 into the next double crochet 5 we are continuously decreasing our pattern so make a front post double crochet stitch and then go into this chain 2 space and make 7 double crochet stitches for our shell this is our double crochet 3 double crochet 4 double crochet 5 double crochet 6 and then double crochet 7 so make simply 7 double crochet stitches and then go into the next front post double crochet stitch and make a front post double crochet stitch now into the next double crochet 1 into the next double crochet 2 into the next 2 make a double crochet together stitch this is our double crochet 3 into the next double crochet 4 and into the next double crochet 5 now go into the next and make a front post double crochet stitch now go into this chain 2 space and make a shell stitch by making 7 double crochet stitches double crochet 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 make 7 double crochet stitches into this chain 2 space of our shell and then make a front post double crochet stitch into the next front post double crochet stitch now simply repeat this pattern till the end of the row and after completing this row make chain 3 which is counted as our first double crochet stitch into the next double crochet 2 into the next 2 stitches make double crochet together stitch which is our double crochet 3 and into the next double crochet 4 now go to the next front post double crochet stitch and make a front post double crochet stitch now go into this shell stitch and make double crochet 1 into the next double crochet 2 into the next double crochet 3 and into the next fourth one make double crochet chain 1 and a double crochet into the same fourth stitch so this is our V stitch into this middle stitch now into the next three stitches make three double crochet so we are having total of eight double crochet stitches and a chain one here now into the next make a front post double crochet stitch and then go into this next double crochet stitch and make a double crochet into the next double crochet 2 into the next 2 stitches make a double crochet together stitch which is our double crochet 3 and into the next double crochet 4 now into the next front post double crochet stitch make a front post double crochet stitch now go into the next double crochet stitch and make double crochet 1 into the next double crochet 2 into the next double crochet 3 and into this fourth one make double crochet 4 chain 1 and into the same double crochet 5 this is our V stitch and then into the next double crochet 6 into the next double crochet 7 into the next double crochet 8 so complete 8 double crochet stitch with the V stitch and then make a 
front post double crochet stitch into the next front post double crochet stitch so this is the pattern for this row repeat this pattern so friends after completing this row with V stitch now make chain 3 which is counted as our first double crochet stitch now make a double crochet together stitch this is our double crochet 2 into the next double crochet 3 now wrap the yarn go into this first front post double crochet stitch and make a front post double crochet stitch here now make chain 1 into the next make one double crochet make chain one go into the next and make one double crochet make chain one into the next one double crochet make chain one into the next one double crochet make chain one and into this second v stitch make another v stitch by making double crochet chain one and double crochet into the same stitch Now make chain 1 into the next 1 double crochet. Make chain 1 into the next 1 double crochet. Make chain 1 into the next 1 double crochet. Now make chain 1. So this is our shell. Now make a front post double crochet stitch. Now into this first double crochet stitch make 1 double crochet into the next 2 stitches make double crochet together stitch this is our second double crochet and into the next third double crochet after making 3 double crochet stitches make 1 front post double crochet stitch into the next sorry make chain 1 and make double crochet 1 into this first stitch then make chain 1 and double crochet into the next chain 1 and then again double crochet and into this second stitch of our V stitch make another V stitch double crochet chain 1 and sorry double crochet into this same stitch then make chain 1 into the next one double crochet chain 1 into the next one double crochet chain 1 into the next one double crochet chain 1 and then make a front post double crochet stitch so this is our second shell now simply repeat this pattern till the end of the row and make one more row with same pattern double crochet and chain one but make a V stitch here into this first V stitch and make another row with similar pattern so friends after completing two rows with chain one and double crochet stitch now we are going to make two rows with chain two space so make chain two and pull the yarn through two loops only and then pull the yarn through two loops only this is considered as our double crochet together stitch so now make front post double crochet and then chain two this time and then make double crochet chain two into the next double crochet chain two into the next double crochet 
chain 2 into the next double crochet chain 2 into this first V of our V stitch make a V stitch by making double crochet chain 1 and double crochet now make 2 chains go into the next and make double crochet chain 1 chain 1 and another double crochet 2 V stitches here after making 2 V stitches simply repeat the same pattern of chain 2 and double crochet till the end of this shell so this is the pattern now make last chain 2 and make a front post double crochet stitch into this front post double crochet stitch and then make a double crochet together stitch now make a front post double crochet stitch and then repeat the same pattern of chain 2 and double crochet stitch again 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 chain 2 go into this V stitch and make a V stitch by making double crochet chain 1 and double crochet now make chain 2 go into this second double crochet of our V stitch and make another V stitch by making double crochet chain 1 and double crochet so this is our V stitch now repeat the same pattern of chain 2 and double crochet 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 chain 2 go into the next and make a front post double crochet stitch here so repeat this row one more time after completing this row with chain to a space make another row with chain 2 and double crochet but make a V stitch into this first V stitch here in the second row and make a V stitch in this second V stitch double crochet here make two V stitches into the next row and here we are going to simply make front post double crochet stitches in the next row so friends after completing two rows with chain 2 and double crochet stitch pattern now we are going to make our last row this chain 3 and a front post double crochet stitch here now go into this chain 2 space and make a slip stitch from here we are going to start our row make chain 3 which is counted as our first double crochet stitch go into the same chain 2 space and make double crochet 2 go into this double crochet stitch and make double crochet 3 go into this next chain 2 space and make double crochet 4 and double crochet 5 then go into this next double crochet stitch and make double crochet 6 
so we are simply making one double crochet into every chain space and into every stitch so repeat this same pattern make two double crochet into chain two space and one double crochet into our stitch now go into this V stitch first stitch make one double crochet into this chain one space one double crochet into this next double crochet one double crochet stitch go into this chain two space and here make two double crochet I hope you can easily understand go into the next double crochet stitch and make one double crochet go into this next chain two space and make two double crochet into the next one double crochet into the next chain two space two double crochet into the next stitch one double crochet into this next chain one space one double crochet and into the next stitch one double crochet and repeat the same pattern till the end after completing this shell now wrap the yarn go through this both front post double crochet stitch and pull the yarn pull through first two loops and then pull through second two loops to make a front post double crochet stitch here after making a front post double crochet stitch for the second shell make two double crochet into chain two space and one double crochet into our stitch and then two double crochet into chain two space and one double crochet into this stitch and repeat this same pattern till the end of the row sorry till the end of the shell after completing the shell by making one stitch into every chain space and into every stitch make a front post double crochet stitch here through this both front post double crochet stitches and then start your third shell by making two double crochet into first chain two space so this is our last row with simple double crochet stitch pattern repeat this row so friends now we are going to make few rows for our sleeve so make a slip knot here and remove your crochet hook from this loop go through this first double crochet stitch here and this last double crochet stitch here and pull this loop from these two stitches and then make chain 3 which is counted as our first double crochet stitch now go into the next double crochet stitch and make a double crochet 2 into the next double crochet 3 into the next double crochet 4 into the next double crochet 5 and simply make one double crochet stitch into every stitch till we reach this end so after completing into this last double crochet stitch here make our last double crochet stitch and go into this chain 3 at the top of the chain 3 make a slip stitch to finish this row and start your second row with chain 3 which is counted as our first double crochet stitch into the next double crochet 2 into the next double crochet 3 into the next double crochet 4 into the next double crochet 5 and then 
repeat the same pattern of one double crochet into every stitch till we reach the end and then make another row by repeating the same pattern you can also make two rows if you want or you can make full sleeves if you want but I am making just three rows now cut the extra yarn and weave this extra yarn with the help of needle weave all the extra yarn with the help of needle by repeating the same pattern as I am going to show you here so first of all take your yarn to the back side from your first double crochet stitch and then make a slip knot first at the back side and make it tight and then simply weave your extra yarn with the help of needle to some back side stitches as you can see So after weaving your extra yarn, cut the extra yarn. So our sleeve is ready. By repeating the same pattern, complete this other sleeve. Now we are going to make our button hole. For the button hole, first of all, wrap the yarn around your fingers and make a slip knot simply. After making slip knot, remove your crochet hook, go into this first double crochet stitch and pull the yarn and make chain 1, go into this same stitch and make single crochet and make a single crochet 2 and then single crochet 3 because this is our corner that's why we are making 3 single crochet stitches here so after making 3 single crochet stitches into this side chain to space of our row make one single crochet and then make chain 5 for your button hole and then go into the same space and make one single crochet this is our button hole you can make more or less chains according to the size of your button So now go into this second side space and make two single crochet and then go into this next third row side space and make two single crochet. Now go into this double crochet stitch and then go into this other double crochet stitch and pull the yarn then pull through all three loops to make a single crochet together stitch now go on to this other side double crochet stitch from this side space again make two single crochet then go into the next second row side space and make two single crochet go into this next side space and make two single crochet so after making two single crochet into this corner make three single crochet stitches as we have done for our first corner make three single crochet stitches after making three single crochet stitches now simply make one single crochet into every stitch so 
so simply make one single crochet into every stitch around your neck and after completing weave the extra yarn so friends here is the final look after finishing I have added a simple fabric bow but you can also do some flower work according to your preference you can decorate this frog I hope you guys like this pattern if you like this pattern please give it a try if you have any questions please ask in the comment section like share and subscribe thank you so much for watching Allah Hafiz